In this video, we are going to learn about decount function. Um, decount function return an estimate for number of distinct values uh, that are taken by scalar expression in the summary group. Uh, so as uh, we can see from there, this is not going to uh, provide us uh, exact uh, distinct uh, values, but it's going to give us estimate for the number of distinct values. Uh, now, this is very much helpful uh, where you have millions of rows uh, and you would like to do some analysis uh, on those uh, records. Uh, in my scenario, I have this table called the total sale and it has only few records. So maybe this uh, um, this is not really needed to use decount, but I'm going to use for the demo and I'll show you how exactly it works. Um, so we are inserting very few records. So we have, I believe, 13, 14 records. So that's all we have. And now with the uh, if you have millions of rows, uh, this is going to be quick uh, and uh, very easy a uh, way to get the distinct estimated values. Uh. Now, let's get the distinct values first. Uh, how we do that, we always say the table name and then uh, we use the pipe sign, distinct, and here we are providing the group of uh, so country, comma, city. So that's what we would like to see, the list of uh, country and city as a distinct values. Uh, see right there, so total uh, nine records are returned. Uh, if you see right there, uh, what I have, uh, I have total uh, 13 records. Uh, but when we get the distinct country and city together, we got nine records. Uh, now, what we want to do here, we can also use uh, summarize here and get the count of cities. Uh, so how we do that, we are saying uh, total sale, distinct country, and city that you guys know that it is going to return you nine records there and we should summarize the and country count is equal to count of city by country okay so it's going to group that by country see right there so we have country germany and there was only one count then france only one count usa three india two and pakistan two as well now we can use d count to get estimated count see right there we use in first of all we were using a uh, this query to get the distinct values and then was using summarize and uh, then using the counter to get this result set. Uh, we can use D counter to get pretty much you get the same results. Uh, in this case, there would be no difference uh, because our data set is small and uh, D count is estimated count is pretty much equal exactly the same counter. Now total sale summarize and the uh, city count D count city by country so you see that this part has been removed we didn't need to use with the d counter so we can straightforward go by using a d counter now it is pretty much the same result as i said that we have very small data set now you can have accuracy with d count if you want you will put zero there so it's 1.6 percent accurate uh, sorry error and then uh, if you have one uh, that's by default uh, that's 0 0.08 uh, um, so you have uh, like 99.2 uh, you know that's much accuracy that's really good so you have to put two three or four so you can keep going uh, as you uh, go to four the accuracy increases um, so that's good now what we can do we can use these uh, uh, arguments here and see how it works but in our case it's not going to be really effective because our we have total 13 records um, so you say total sales summarize city count d count city and then put zero here so we are looking for like 1.6 uh, percent margin of the error and by country so if you go ahead and execute it's going to return you the same records um, you can uh, do one two three four and keep going now if you have 100 million records though this is going to be really helpful so you will get the estimation of distinct values real quick so you see this is also going to return you the same results because we have very small data set but you got the idea in case you have large amount of data and you want to get the distinct values this decount can give you estimated distinct values for that group of columns all right, thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.